Today we are here with a new video lecture of adenomyosis. This is a very important topic and very important from exam point of view and USMLE point of view. Now first of all, what is adenomyosis? Adenomyosis is defined as endometrial tissue in the endometrial tissue in the myometrium if endometrial tissue is present in myometrium we can say it's adenomyosis this endometrial tissue comprises of nests of stroma and glands means that both the stroma and glands are present in the myometrium normally this does not happen so this will give you a gross appearance this will give you a gross appearance of an enlarged uterus the uterus is enlarged and this enlarged uterus is spongy in nature. The uterus is enlarged, it is spongy, and as this endometrial tissue has grown into myometrium, so the myometrium is myometrium is thickened. So this was about the gross morphology or gross appearance of adenomyosis. So I'll show you this in a diagram. This is, this is a gross picture of adenomyosis. And you can see that here, this, this endometrium, this uterus is somewhat enlarged and you, it is somewhat spongy in nature. Okay, so dear students, can you tell me what is it? Any guess? This is basically leomyoma. It's not relevant to our topic, but I just saw here. So it is a leomyoma here. Okay, so this was the, about the gross appearance of uh, our adenomyosis that the uterus will be enlarged and it will be spongy and myometrium will be taken. What will be the microscopic appearance? Under the microscope, Under the microscope, the myometrium will be having glands and stroma. Glands and stroma of the endometrium. Under the myometrium, the, under the microscope, we will see glands and stroma in the myometrium. But we will not label it as adenomyosis unless and until this, these glands are, and stroma are, visible, are visible below 2 mm. Below 2 mm of stratum basae. Let's say this is our stratum basae of endometrium. And this is stratum functionalis and this is stratum basae and this is our myometrium if we normally within a limit of 2 mm let's say this this length is 2 mm so normally within the limit of 2 mm we can see some glands and stroma some glands and stroma. These are normally uh, can be seen uh, beneath the 2 mm of stratum basae. But if these glands and stroma are present deep inside, if we are seeing the glands and stroma deep inside, we will label it as adenomyosis. We label it as adenomyosis. Meiosis. 
this was about the microscopic appearance so what will be uh, the this let me show you um, the microscopic appearance this if this is the normal looking uh, this is this is the myometrium basically and in the myometrium you can see there are this area this there are nests of glands and stroma present here so this is a condition known as adenomyosis so how will it present clinically clinically it will present as what is the clinical presentation of this disease clinically it will present as menorrhagia dysmenorrhea menorrhagia means excessive excessive menses and the dysmenorrhea mean pain during menstruation and also abdominal pain and pelvic pain so uh, uh, dear students we studied about in, uh, adenomyosis in adenomyosis we have growth of endometrial tissue in the myometrium and this growth consists of nest of both the stroma and the glands uh, our grossly our endometrium is enlarged it's spongy and the myometrium is thickened our grossly the uterus is enlarged it is spongy and myometrium is thickened under the microscope we can see glands and stroma that will be present beneath the two millimeter and this condition will clinic clinically manifest as menorrhagia dysmenorrhea abdominal pain and pelvic pain but there is a point that this we can see adenomyosis we can see adenomyosis mostly present along endometriosis mostly present along mostly present along endometriosis and this endometriosis is a very important condition and i will let you know about the endometriosis in the next video uh, thank you please hit us a like button and subscribe our channel